In this video, I'm going to show you how to enter customer payments and deposits the correct way. This is where most new users make mistakes. First of all, you need to have entered an invoice. I'll show you that in a separate video if you don't know how to do that. I'll assume you have entered an invoice. Now I'll show you how to record a payment. Go to the Create menu, click on the plus, Show More, select Receive Payment. I'll enter a payment. Make sure your date is correct. This is the date when you receive the payment. We'll assume this was a check. Enter the check number. Okay, this account right here where it says deposit to, you want this to say undeposited funds. Undeposited funds is a temporary account that QuickBooks Online uses to store payments until you show that you deposited them in your bank account. Enter a payment. You notice that the payment was supplied to this invoice and that your amount left over is zero. And now we'll select save and new and enter another one. We'll enter another payment. Again, make sure your date is correct. We'll assume this is a check also. We'll leave this as undeposited funds and enter the amount of our payment. Save and close. Okay, at this point, let's assume that you're making a deposit with your bank. So either you're going to the bank to take a deposit with you or you're making an online deposit. Either way, you should have accumulated all of your checks and cash for the day and you should have a total of what your deposit will be for that day. Go to the Create menu. Go to Other and select Bank Deposit. Now here are the two checks that we entered. So we'll assume that we're depositing these two checks. So I'll click to select them. And I'll make sure that this total equals the amount that I deposited in the bank. The other thing that I'll check is to make sure that I'm recording the deposit to the correct bank account going to my checking account and that this is the date when I made the deposit. So once I check all those things, I'm ready to save. Now I'll show you how to match the deposits you just entered with your downloaded transactions. So we'll go to Transactions Banking. And by doing it the way that I taught you, when you download transactions, if you enter the deposit for the correct amount, you should see a deposit being downloaded from your bank and it should say match. So let's pretend that this is the deposit that we entered. When I download that from my bank, I will see this matching a transaction that I already entered. So this is the correct way. And if that's correct, all I have to click is match. If you see that a deposit has downloaded as an uncategorized income, that likely means that you either enter the deposit for the wrong amount or you forgot to enter a deposit. In that case, make sure first that you enter the deposit and then when you come back to this window, you should see this say match, just like that. You want to avoid downloading any transactions into an uncategorized income account. You'll have to correct that later. So I have shown you how to properly record a customer payment and a deposit and how to match it in your downloaded transactions. 